Welcome. My name is Mark Shipman Mueller, and I'm a product manager at ARI. You're watching one in a series of ARI Tech Talks on the new features of the Alexa 35 camera. I'm assuming that you've already watched the Alexa 35 guided tour to get an overview of the camera. If you've not, please do so, because in this video here, we will go into more detail on the new features that will help you work faster and easier on set. In order to do this, we'll take a tour around the camera. Let's start by looking at the camera size. The Alexa 35 is the smallest fully featured Alexa camera we've ever built. In the past, we've had two camera form factors. We had the larger camera that has more features, and then we've had a smaller and more lighter version, but with reduced features. Alexa 35 is the first small form factor camera that also has all the high-end features, like 4K recording at 120 frames per second, two totally independent SDI outputs, and all the connectors you could ever need. Not to mention the new enhanced sensitivity mode or array textures. This, of course, means a lot of processing power in a tiny package, and that has to be cooled. In order to cool that, we've come up with a new cooling concept. This is our new cooling core, which is a single chimney that has one large fan here, pulling the air from the bottom all the way to the top. And now, let's take a look at the front of the camera. Inside the camera here is the sensor board. I happen to have one with me right now. And this sensor board is specially calibrated so we can make sure that all Alexa 35 cameras look like each other. We call this the advanced color match. In front of the sensor board, we have the filter slider. This is a filter slider similar to what we have in the Alexa Mini LF. And the filter slider has four positions. First one is clear then an ND.6, ND1.2, and ND1.8. On the front of the camera here, we also have a number of connectors, starting with an Elbus connector here at the bottom, another Elbus connector on the LPL mount, a serial connector that can take the signals of distance measuring devices, and a viewfinder connector that connects, of course, to the viewfinder. And we're using the MVF2, the same viewfinder that the Mini LF also uses. This is great because you can use the same controls you're already familiar with, and you can use the same familiar menu structure. However, there are some new things we have. For instance, the viewfinder, once it's on the Alexa 35, can now show an HDR image in the eyepiece, and there are some new menu commands. I'll show you some of my favorite ones here. For instance, when I switch in some lists, you get an extra info panel that gives you extra information about what you're choosing. So here I'm in the exposure index panel, I get some extra information, and then I can also switch into the sensor mode panel. And there I get extra information about the sensor mode I may change now. And I can also switch into the recording resolution. And there I also get extra information about what recording resolution I want to change to. This is very, very useful on the set when you're wondering, should I do this, should I not do this, to get extra information. It's having like a little airy product manager right next to you whispering in useful information in your ear. Moving on to the left side of the camera, the most obvious thing is the new left side display. This is great when you work in a situation where you can't use the viewfinder and the menu in the viewfinder. For instance, when the camera's on a Trinity, on a Steadicam, on an easy rig, a drone, a crane, or an, in an underwater housing. This screen has three settings. There's a home screen, an info screen, and a setting screen. And there's also a very cool screensaver that shows you what ND filter you have set. Below this, we have the media bay that accepts either the existing one terabyte codex compact drives or the new high speed two terabyte compact drives. The new drives work in the Alexa 35, but they're also backwards compatible with the Mini LF. And in the Alexa 35, they allow higher frames per second than the one terabyte drives. So the camera can record in regular recording or in pre recording. And there are 19 recording formats available that include time and money savers like in-camera downsampling or in-camera de-squeeze. So any production will find just the right recording format for their needs. Here's a list of all the recording formats. If you want to know more about the recording formats, there's another ARI Tech Talk that provides more details about all the recording formats. Let's move on to the right side of the camera, which we have here. And there are two rows of connectors here, starting with the second viewfinder connector, that you can either plug the viewfinder in or a future accessory we may come out with in the future. Then there is an SDI output that works at 1.5G, 3G, 6G, or 12G. 
and is completely independent from the other SDI output, which is down here, SDI2, also 1.5 to 12G, independent of the first one. And the second one can also be switched to a return in. Between these two, there's a sync in, which is a genlock in. It's an analog black burst or tri-level signal. And then we have the same time code connector that you have on the mini LF, so the same cables will work. On the top of the second row of connectors, we have the ECS antenna that allows the camera to communicate out of the box with the Hi5, with the WCU4, or the SXU1. And below that, we have two accessory power outs. There's a 24 volt accessory power out and a 12 volt. Below that is the audio connector, which is the same connector as on the mini LF, so the same cables can be used. It has two line outputs and 12 volt accessory power out. And below that, we have an ETH connector. That means Ethernet. And it's used for service or for the web remote. Or, and this is a brand new feature, we actually have real-time streaming metadata coming out of this. This is for mixed reality productions, also known as virtual studios or LED walls. And this metadata includes all relevant frame-based lens and camera information. The metadata is received on the other end in the Unreal Engine by Ares LifeLink metadata plugin. Going a little bit further to the front, we have three extra user buttons, very, very useful. And behind the connectors here, there's extra scratch-resistant foils that work better than the camera side here. So they scratch less. And if they do scratch up, they can be easily replaced. So even in rental, the camera, after years of use, can look pretty new. This camera is a 24-volt camera. And there are two inputs. Here's a connector. And then we have a battery input here in the back. If you want to know what the status is, there are two LEDs. One is here and one is here that can very quickly show you what the status of the power input is. Now, going to the back of the camera, we have two Wi-Fi antennas here. They're designed for either third-party apps or the Airy web remote or brand new, the Airy camera companion app, which is an iPhone or iPad app that can remotely control the camera. And below that, we have an interface that can take battery adapters. We, of course, have a B-mount battery adapter, but there are also battery adapters available from Anton Bauer, Hawkwoods, or Core SWX for their 24-volt batteries. The battery mount, as you can see, is flush with the camera. It mounts directly to the camera. So the battery can also mount directly to the camera, which makes a very compact, small camera package, smaller than an Alexa Mini in comparison, which has to have the battery on the D-bracket on the back, and that makes the whole camera configuration longer. At the same interface, you can also install two electronic accessories. The electronic accessories we have include the power distribution module or the audio extension module. And they, as well as the mechanical support items for this camera, are explained in detail in another Airy Tech Talk. So as you can see, we've gone to great lengths to ensure fast and easy operation of this camera on set. Thank you very much for watching.